It's time for another edition of Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. Made possible by Beth Smith and Edward Jones and ProMed Ambulance Services. Here are more than four fab facts about the Fab Four. Yes, the Beatles. The Beatles' white album, so named for its dark white cover featuring only the words The Beatles, is actually untitled or self-titled and certified at 24 times platinum. It's the top-selling double LP in American history, but it wasn't supposed to go out with no name. The band planned to call it A Doll's House after the feminist play, but a few months before its scheduled release, British band Family unleashed Music in a Doll's House, putting the Beatles out of a title. The most successful post-Beatles solo singles, according to Billboard, Paul McCartney's Say, 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 McCartney's Ebony and Ivory, John Lennon's Just Like Starting Over, McCartney's Coming Up, and McCartney's Silly Love Songs. Beatlemania hit in 1964, and it hit big. And here is some tangible proof of the phenomenon. The group's appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show on February 9, 1964, was at the time the most watched TV broadcast ever. Within the year, the Beatles topped the American album chart with five different albums, selling a total of 18 million copies. On the singles chart, 31 Beatles songs made an appearance, of which 15 hit the top 40 and 6 hit number 1. At one point, the Beatles occupied every position in the top 5. The Beatles made a lot of well-received movies, including A Hard Day's Night and Help, but they won an Oscar for their documentary, Let It Be. The Fab Four took home an Oscar for Best Original Score, which they were awarded in 1971 after they split up. Almost all the Beatles' biggest hits were written by John Lennon and or Paul McCartney, not something. The Transcendent Ballad is a George Harrison original. For years, fans assumed he written it about his wife, model Patty Boyd. But in 1996, he told a reporter that he was moved to write it about the music of Ray Charles. The Beatles are nicknamed the Fab Four, but a few other musicians can claim status as the unofficial fifth Beatle. Original member Stuart Sutcliffe left the group well before Beatlemania and died in 1962. First drummer Pete Best was fired in favor of Ringo Starr. And when Starr fell ill during a 1964 concert tour, Jimmy Nicold sat behind the kit. In the late 60s, Billy Preston played piano on Get Back and Let It Be. And John Lennon wanted to make him a permanent member. But the rest of the group nixed that idea. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me for Trivia Tracks weekdays at 645 on Everybody's Country Y95.